All right, back in the basement again for the start of a brand new series of powerlifting meat prep. And I'm really excited about this for a couple of reasons. But before I get too into it, I wanna just kind of address the elephant in the room as I've been getting questions about this for a couple of months now. And I know I will continue to be based off of the title. So as you can tell, I will be using the Evolve AI app through this meat prep and going forward. What I've decided to do, however, is not compare it directly to other apps that are currently out. The main reason being is I'm friendly with many people who create these types of programs and I've been heavily involved in a lot of it and some of the behind the scenes where I know too much about the sausage making, if you will, and it's not fair to either one of those groups as I do believe they're both fantastic programs as evident by my history of tracking and some of the reviews I've done in the past. And for this particular video series and going forward, I just want to take an unbiased look at the app as a whole and give you my feedback on how it is to prep for a meet and just use it in general. So that's some of the stuff I'm going to be showing on this video series of how to use the app, what I do, things like that, and things that maybe I like and don't like or that I'd like to see added or changed to it, okay? Okay. So as far as this meat prep series go, I'm going to be using the Evolve AI app to prep for a USAPL meet that's being held April 8th. So at the time of filming today, which I believe is December 4th, that literally puts me at just under 18 weeks out. So tomorrow, which is Monday, will be my day one, week one of prep. So 18 weeks out from this meet. The meet's local to me, which I'm really looking forward to because we don't have a ton of USAPL meets in Rhode Island for the most part. We haven't had a state chair in a long time. So the Massachusetts state chair, Eric Cordero, who's a great guy, he usually comes and brings meets to us, but they're not that often. So now that we have some official meet chairs in place, I'm looking forward to hopefully doing more USAPL meets here in my backyard. Because to be honest, even though I love specialty bars and have fun in USPA meets, I really just like benching, squatting, and deadlifting with a dedicated power bar if I can do so. And there's also more drug-tested USAPL meets. In fact, all of them are drug-tested, I should say, versus USPA, which we usually get non-drug-tested meets just because they draw a bigger audience for that particular federation. So for me, USAPL is just preferable if I can, but again, I'm not opposed to doing other federations as well. So about 18 weeks out for that. And I'm going to log this entire series using the app, what I think, how, how I do things, you know, what the different blocks look like, and just how I'm feeling, generally speaking. I'll probably also address stuff like nutrition. I'm beginning some questions on that and other things that you guys bring up in the video. So please, if you can, participate. Tell me what you want to see or if you have questions that you want me to answer on video, let me know in the comments for these and I'll try to address them in one of these video series. The plan is to upload really one video a week for this series in addition to my other normal content. I would say regularly scheduled content, but I've been all over the place lately. I was in the Dominican for like 10 days. I got back Thanksgiving, went to a WWE event. Shout out to Kofi Kingston for hooking me up with some fantastic tickets, by the way. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw some of those video clips. Uh, but I've kind of been all over the place lately, so I haven't been getting out a ton of content. But again, I want to get back to regularly scheduled uploads if I can. And this meat prep is kind of just the tip of the iceberg because what my plan is is to finally attend and compete at USAPL Raw Nationals, which is taking place in September in Memphis, Tennessee. So September of next year, so about you know, 10 months away from now. And I'm really looking forward to that because this is something that I've been wanting to do since like 2014 or 2015. Back then when I actually qualified for the Open, when the Open totals were much, much lower, and now they're a little bit out of reach for me. But luckily, in my older age, they just don't assume many older people lift, so they have a really low barrier of entry. So I've already pre-qualified for nationals, so I've signed up. I got my plane ticket, I got my hotel tickets, I got everything all set up. So hopefully I don't have an excuse of why I can't go and compete. So this meet leading into it is just kind of get my feet wet and get back on the competition train, if you will to prep me for hopefully my best meet ever, which will be Raw Masters Nationals in Memphis, and maybe I'll spend some time in Graceland as well. Comment in the comment section if you're going to Raw Nationals, because I'd love to meet some of you. I think get out and do some meet and greets out of the basement, so I may have to do some self-tanner or something like that, but I digress, everybody. So that's my plan of this particular series. In today's video, I wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet, but the fact is, is that I like to ramble, as you've already noticed, but what I thought I'd do is I think I'd take you just through setting up the app initially. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into the app now. It's going to ask me how I want to train. Again, I'm focusing on powerlifting specifically, which would make the most sense if you're going to compete in powerlifting. 
Now, as part of this thing in Evolve AI, even though I'm gonna log this as like a new experience, I gotta say, I might have a little bit of bias towards it just because of the brainchild behind this particular system. Garrett Blevins is someone who I've been friends with for over a decade now. In fact, I remember when he was at my house back in 2014 or 2015 and he was telling me about what his thoughts were for this kind of programming and he had all his excel sheets out and we were talking back and forth in fact we even offered some coaching as a joint effort if you remember the bcr or blessed coaching we did some runs with it was just garrett myself and ben rice uh, so i've really seen all the iterations of this come to fruition and it's really cool how this app and garrett's ideas have evolved if you will you like that I know you do, but he's not alone in this case. So again, I'm really familiar with Garrett and the stuff that he does. I know it's solid. He's helped me with some of my own programs that I've created for myself, like the PRs program or PRS, depending on if you've run that in the past before. But it's not just him now, it's Mike Trashier. It's Andy, that huge Asian guy. I think his last name's Huang, but I just know him as that huge Asian guy, which is not a bad nickname to have. Um, Kristen Dunsmore, John Hack. Uh, Dr. Jacob Gooden. So there's a lot of good people behind this and they're doing a lot of cool things, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to try this app out for myself. So speaking of good old Dr. Gooden, if you go into here and start filling this out like I'm going to do, you'll see some videos that are linked in here. He explains the choices that you're making and what goes into it. So the first thing I have to pick is my weight goal. So do I track my macros and plan my meals around training or I don't pay any attention to macros or meal timing? I track my macros and maybe that's a video that we'll talk about in this series because I'm getting some questions based off stuff that I've posted from Macro Factor that I use to track all my intake that I've been using for like 14 months now or so. So I might do a video on that. And my diet goals, do I plan on losing, maintaining or gaining? So I actually plan on gaining as I mentioned, I was on vacation a little bit and I got down to a low of about 207 pounds. Right now, as you're seeing me live in high definition, I weigh about 214 pounds. I've been just kind of going at it and eating over my suggested calories. I've been averaging about 4,000 calories per day for the past week. So I've put on some weight, obviously, since then. I'm going to kind of trim it up a little bit when I start this meat prep tomorrow. But I do plan on gaining weight. So my goal for this meat is probably to compete in the... Uh, 220 pound weight class, which is a 100 kg. Uh, if I go over that, I'm not worried about it because my total from last time I competed, which was back in May, actually would qualify me for both the 100 kg weight class or the 110 kg weight class. As I told you, they don't really trust us old guys and just really low barrier to entry. Uh, but if I'm heavier, that's fine. Even if I go to nationals and compete in the 110 weight class, that's fine. I just wanna go and compete and put together some good numbers. So I do plan on gaining weight. And how this plays a role into the app is if you're planning on gaining weight and you have a longer training cycle or even just a regular training cycle, it's likely going to put more volume into it for you versus if you were on a deficit. And it's also likely going to give you more hypertrophy style blocks than it would, again, if you were on a deficit, then it would probably just do straight strength block. So plan on gaining weight, let's go to the next one. And again, there's a video there uh, that explains it. How many days would you like to work out? Uh, I'm actually going to aim for four. That's where I find my sweet spot to be. I could probably swing five days, but I find that my schedule with work and my family and other social kind of stuff, it just gets in the way. So I like the four day split. And I'd like to start as of tomorrow, which is the 5th. So let's confirm that. I'm going to go next. It's going to ask me about testing my strength, uh, various phases. Do you want to set your own meet or test date? I'm going to say yes in this case. But if you don't know what kind of meet you're going to do, you don't have one planned, and you're filling this out, I would go with no, which is recommended, which means it's just going to give you a very long training cycle. So you're probably going to get some hypertrophy blocks, some strength blocks, enough time to grow and get stronger, uh, versus if you pick your own date, obviously that stuff could be condensed. So I'm going to hit yes because I know my date. It's already in here because it's April 8th, and I'm going to hit next. I'm going to confirm my meet date. It's going to take me there. If that's going to ask about periodization. Uh, again, there's a video here from uh, Dr. Gooden. If you don't know about periodization, I would suggest going with the highly recommended I know, but again, I want to just trust the app and run it as is, but there's linear, there's undulating, there's alternating, um, there's a mixed one. There's, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here, but again, I would suggest no for most people. And the more you use the app, the more it should adapt and actually change some of those. And I'll show you in one of these videos where it shows you exactly what kind of periodization you're on for each specific lift. So I'm going to go to next. 
Uh, just had a meet, start with a bridge block. I am not gonna run a bridge block. These are great if you're running the app for multiple times through and after you compete. I suggest a bridge block just to kind of, again, as the name implies, bridge you until the next training cycle to mix things up, give you a break mentally, physically, and get you back in the mindset for powerlifting. I'm going to go with no. My max is, I like to be more conservative here. So for squat, my last squat at my last meet was 606. I'm going to keep 585 in here. For bench, I'm actually going to go with, I'm just going to say 330. For deadlift, I'm actually going to put 600. Uh, my deadlift is something I get super fatigued on, so I find that some submax training for deadlift usually pays off well for me. In the past, with other training programs, I have tend to find that as things get more intense with deadlifts, I can't recover as fast, and my deadlifts tend to kind of taper off towards the meat, which I don't want. So I'm going to just go a little bit lighter at 600, and I'm going to hit next. It's then going to ask me, what are my lifting style? So for squat style, I do low bar. For bench style, I've been doing wide grip. So for me, that's my index finger on the ring. So pretty much as wide as I can go. My deadlift style is conventional. I'm going to hit next. It's then going to ask you your weaknesses. What it does here is basically in the training program itself, based off which weaknesses you pick, it's going to give you variations and assistance movements to help those things. My squat weakness, I'm going to put with rounding over. A lot of times in the past, I've put in the hole which is fine, but I want to put rounding over because I really want to kind of build up my, uh, my lower back a little bit more. So we'll do that. Bench weakness off the chest. I'm going to keep it there. I found that for me with training, I do a lot of great work with rep work with bench, but when it comes to heavier singles, especially around competition where you have to pause for an extended time, that's where I really struggle. So that's what I want to focus on. And deadlift weakness for me, even though I just made a video on deficits, I want to kind of switch things to mid range just because again, I really kind of want to train myself in that weaker position, which for me is something where I somewhat struggle with. So like block pulls for me are actually an extremely difficult exercise to do just based off my leverages and my musculature and my back. So mid range is something I'm going to focus on for this particular training cycle. And again, you can always change these later. Uh, and then I'm going to get my program. And eventually it's going to update all this stuff. It's going to take just a minute and it's going to spit a program out for me. Now I'm not going to get too into what it spits out now because I figure I can do a follow-up video on that and talking about the exercises that it shows as well as talk about my own potential exercise selection. But what I will talk about really quick is as of today, it tells me I'm 125 days out. It tells me I have like a five week hypertrophy block and then I have two strength blocks and then a peaking block. So it has all that in here. It tells me the intensity, all that other stuff. Uh, so really excited to start this off and I've been talking way too long in this video so I'm going to head and stop the recording on my phone and I'll be sharing that on the screen I believe uh, but really looking forward to getting into powerlifting training and having a meat in mind to train towards as well as being able to eat into the meat and gain some weight so gain some meat for the meat if you will and let me know in the comment section below what kind of other things you want me to cover in this video series. I appreciate you guys following along. And in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.